The president of Zimbabwe, Emerson Munangagwa, paid Namibia a one-day courtesy visit. After nearly two hours of discussions behind closed doors, this is what the president of Namibia, Hage Kinkop, had to say. Thanks God, we are mature people in Africa. And we can solve our own problems, especially in SATEC and AU. Today it's AU and SATEC who decides about governments that we recognize them or not. It's not Washington or London. That's now our approach. So I'm glad my brother is here to tell me, and I'm very happy. I'm not going to share with you. You can imagine we took nearly one and a half hours. So what I'm going to say, I'm not going to tell you anything. <laughs> you know that. <laughs> you know that. But just to say, we are just continuing. Namibia and Zimbabwe are very close friends from struggle days. That will go. It doesn't depend on individuals. It will come and go. But the countries, the parties will continue. That's why we are continuing. I'm the third president. He's the first third president, but second executive president. Flanked by his ministers, Munagagwa explained to Kainkop why he had appointed military officials that had assisted in the transition to top government posts. A few months back, before the transition, our position in Zimbabwe was saying that uh, if those people in uniform make comments in politics, they must leave uniform and uh, put on civilian and then come into the political arena. That's what we have done. I have removed General Chuenga, who was the commander of Defense Forces, is now a civilian. But they're also angry, saying, uh, why have you brought the soldiers into government when uh, a few weeks ago they were saying if they comment, they must come back and they will fight politically. And this one also was the spokesman of the transition, General Moyo. I've removed him from the army. And again, people are not happy that he is back in, uh, he's in politics. So we never win uh, <laughs> members of the position. But as it is, um, we are at home, very happy, it's peaceful and uh, well received. We are focusing now on the issues of development, our economy, and uh, bettering the conditions of our people. And we are receiving support from all SADC uh, member countries, as well as from countries uh, beyond our region. We spoke to local political commentator Ndumba Kamwanya to get his take on the visit and what he thinks the two heads of state must have discussed. Yes, so I think it's very important for Munagagwa uh, to visit uh, uh, the old friend of uh, Robert Mugabe uh, in the sense that uh, uh, they might be nervous because this is a new government coming in so you don't know what direction uh, it's going to take in terms of uh, the bilateral uh, uh, rela relationship between you know, uh, Zimbabwe and, uh, in this case, uh, Namibia. So I see that visit uh, that uh, it's really to assure uh, the Namibian government that uh, uh, nothing new or uh, drastically new that is going to jeopardize the relationship between uh, the Namibian government and the, the, the Zimbabwean uh, government. This is Munakagwa's first state visit since assuming office late last year. He will also be visiting countries such as Botswana and Mozambique later this week. For Today on One, I'm Joseph Shifeni.